So this is a reminder to everyone who holds XRP of what exactly you hold and also a video for people who say, oh, Ripple isn't XRP, etc. I've clipped together a few things from Quantum XRP's video here. Go and check out the whole thing. It's an awesome video. But yeah, pay attention to this. So the first clip's from 2019 with Brad Garlinghouse talking to all these people. To give you an idea of who they are, we've got Director of Monetary Markets at the IMF, the Chairman of the Saudi Monetary Authority, the Chairman of the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, Christine Lagarde, ex-IMF, now head of the ECB, and the head of the Russian and Swiss Central Bank, to name a few people in this room. So let's get on to what Brad said. Ripple is and what Ripple is not. Uh, Ripple is a private company. We're based in California, uh, about three or four hundred employees around the world. And we're trying to solve a problem. We're selling technologies to banks and financial institutions to solve a cross-border payments problem. Data from the IMF and the World Bank would you know, say that the, the average remittance costs around 600 basis points in a world where we think about the internet enabling kind of real-time instant information. Why can't we use these new technologies to build an internet of value? We build upon a tech stack of an open source technology called XRP. XRP you know, originally was built by some engineers who had seen some of the flaws of Bitcoin and the challenges of scalability around Bitcoin, where Bitcoin today, uh, per transaction basis, you know, it's rather slow and rather expensive. XRP is very, very fast, about a thousand times faster per transaction and a thousand times cheaper per transaction. And finally, we've got this short clip that Zach took from Digital Asset Investors Channel from Miguel Vias, an ex-Ripple employee. I'll leave you with this one. I think a digital currency, and I think XRP is, is, is the best designed one to do this, a digital, an independent digital currency that can't be debased makes a lot of sense to hold in reserve, right? Like that's just, I, I, you know, just objectively, right? I mean, you can take kind of the Bitcoin out of it, the XRP out of it, the Ethereum out of it, it doesn't matter. Like... The fact that no one can mess with this thing the way you can't mess with gold is a good thing for reserves broadly, right? If things are liquid and things are stable. Um, and that was our goal at, 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 at Ripple was to get it to be liquid enough so that folks can really start thinking about it in that way, right? I mean, the, the space is so young, it's so early that, you know, you know um, Patrick Griffin who was my boss at Ripple and he's since left. And old Ripple, 2012, one of the first six or seven folks would tell me stories about how Chris would send him to the IMF and send him, you know, to the BIS and send him to these places to talk about digital currencies back in 2013. Back in 2013, he was going to the BIS and the IMF. And you're still in doubt.